DPHS project uh, has been a very crucial one for the geothermal research uh, sector. It was launched in 2015 uh, from a grant from the Horizon 2020 research program. We started in 2015 as, as a group of 10 uh, partners and uh, additional third parties that have worked with Georg. Uh, I'm from Georg uh, up, uh, in the consortium and uh, we have been working now for 53 months to learn more about the, the deep geothermal systems and how they can be enhanced. We have had um, demonstrators in Iceland and France. And there are two, di uh, two different geothermal systems that basically are at play in, in the two different countries. So both provide perspectives and new knowledge uh, for different uh, geothermal conditions, both uh, in mainland Europe, in France, and as well here in Iceland in, in a very hot system. So we have drilled um, wells down to over four or five kilometers and uh, exciting research have been presented in the final meeting. In my case, or in the case of the KIT, we are more involved in the monitoring of uh, the sites, geophysical monitoring of the sites. Uh, that's one particular uh, direction we were uh, the developing uh, new techniques, um, especially in the seismological monitoring, but also the empty monitoring there. In terms of science and technology, DPGS would um, uh, make, me, uh, make us able to assess different kind of stimulation methods uh, from thermal stimulation, hydraulic stimulation and chemical stimulation and make us able to understand all the physical process. And we have been engaging with, with uh, the Icelandic community in, in Deep Vision and the Deep IDDP uh, projects. And uh, DPGS uh, was an excellent extension of that collaboration as, a, as an arena for scientists to meet and explore the opportunity but also attack the challenges associated with, with drilling uh, deeper and harnessing the the, the hotter uh, resources for power production. And so the idea, and it was really kind of challenging with this Reckoness really deep well, uh, 4.5 kilometers depth um, in the basalt uh, in Iceland and with uh, very likely super critical conditions at the bottom. And uh, due to this uh, very deep well and special conditions, we had to develop this uh, dynamic uh, well bore simulator. So uh, basically simulating the fluid flow in a dynamic way, dynamic way not, not uh, static, and which is kind of new step beyond, I would say, in, the, in this technology uh, development. In the project, the aim was to, to demonstrate the EGS technology in different uh, geological context, and uh, because of the of the of the schedule of drilling of uh, permitting in France, uh, we only address one demonstrator in the in the framework of the of the project. Only um, two operators in DPGS using. Uh, EGS technology in metropolitan France. So we need uh, the knowledge and the know-how of other country and DPGS is the way to do that. I think what uh, was interesting is uh, to see the difference uh, of perception of the public uh, regarding, for example, uh, induced seismicity. And we see that uh, we may have a very different um, um, behavior of the population regarding uh, this technology. So that's something uh, which is interesting to realize and to work on, uh, still work on in the future. Um, so we are comparing especially Icelandic sites in Reykjanes, uh, where you have a lot of natural seismicity occurring there. And uh, I'm comparing it with uh, Vandenheim, which is close to Strasbourg. And uh, in this case, it's an urban area in a European uh, continental country uh, with a lot of uh, kind of uh, social fears about this technology which is exploiting the underground. Georg as a research cluster has uh, had a, a big Im uh, or important uh, responsibilities in this project, uh, running the project office and uh, we have uh, done this in, in a 
good collaboration with the partners and mainly working very closely with the coordination team of, of Hauas Orca and our coordinator uh, Guðmundur Ómar Freyðleysson. To me, uh, what is important in DPGN is that we, can, we are able to share knowledge and know-how from different companies, from oil and gas companies to uh, geothermal industry, and from Iceland to France uh, and to Germany and, for, and to uh, Italia too. And it's very important to, to be able to integrate all the knowledge uh, to be able to, to help for a wide development of the deep geothermal in all in several uh, geological contexts needed uh, EGS technology. DPGS gave a better access for new, te new technologies to the market mainly, especially for example our task uh, to develop a new drilling technology allowed us to go into a market like the energy business, deploy a technology which has a high risk to to use or to deploy. We definitely achieved our objective because the main objective uh, was to bring the technology first closer to the public in regard of concerns that is for sure being done with the thermal couplings to increase the integrity of the wells as well that people are always saying that geothermal projects have to be subsidized to be economically compared to the primary en energy options which we are now able to tackle with tools like the mud hammer to reduce the overall drilling time. Uh, this is very, really a uh, good project in my view. Uh, we have been uh, a lot of partners there and that's one of the things uh, which I uh, appreciate very much is this cooperation with scientific partners and also industrial partners in this project. So I think that's one thing we succeeded to, to achieve is to make some uh, uh, exchange of knowledge between these two kind of uh, entities. We have jointly with the partners and, and others in the consortium been really uh, working hard on the dissemination both uh, for the public in, in disseminating uh, news. It's been on the news in BBC and other radio uh, talks and TV shows and, and uh, we have um, had a number of occasions to really present proudly our results and the dissemination has been very important in this project and, and will continue to be, be so and Georg being the responsible partner for the dissemination will follow this uh, through post project and uh, we will be looking forward to new results coming out and dissemination and communication from the project will continue. So looking at what, we do, what we've done again, I think we still have to communicate a lot and really I'm maybe more talking about continental Europe. We have to, yeah, to, to not educate, I don't like this word, but I think we have to tell the people what we are doing and why we are doing it and to say, okay, this is green energy. We want to develop it. We have to develop it. We cannot have only good things. We also have to face the impacts and the possible risks. But these are things which can be managed and we have to properly uh, handle these things. But to make the people a bit more uh, to know about it. Just that it's not something which is like extraordinary, but this, this should become a bit more like normal, uh, normal way of doing it. As they would do if they want to make sure some more development for their whole, whole own house, for example. So I think that's one step. And regarding technology, uh, we, s we know that the well is really at a cr one of the most critical part maybe of a geothermal plant uh, as a whole and so this developments of the well and uh, improving the uh, the efficiency of the wells in terms of decreasing the cost of uh, the drilling and uh, and uh, increasing the lifetime of the wells, uh, preventing from corrosion and scalings and so on. I think this is also really, really key 
that's for continental Europe. If we move a bit more to the really high enthalpy systems, like in Iceland, then we will have other, many other questions related to high pressure, high no pressure. And uh, this means that I think we really have also to still work on these things, connection between the well, better understanding of the well and the flow in the wells and the reservoir. The DPGS project have, have been an excellent arena for uh, being able to bring in, in uh, in oil and gas knowledge and putting it into a geothermal perspective. But we have also, as an oil and gas company, learned a lot from, from, from the uh, collaborators and partners from the geothermal industry. And so for me, the next step will be to, uh, to go further in other geological uh, context as it was uh, scheduled, uh, for example, in Valence, in the, in the Rhone, uh, in the Rhone Graben or uh, in um, maybe in the Massif Central in France. We think they are a very good opportunity to, to improve uh, the, the knowledge and also to, to promote the, the geothermal energy as part of the energy mix in Europe. The most important is uh, that we continue on looking and awaiting the lessons learned that we thrive the technology which we have developed in regard of, for example, new completions to increase the well integrity as well as drilling to reduce the overall drilling time, which brings us uh, a better economical uh, approach in the geothermal market. Now at the end of the project we look forward to uh, the research coming out and we have in the pipeline number of new research coming. We already on the World Geothermal Council meeting uh, that was postponed due to COVID. We had 32 papers and uh, there may be more in the pipeline coming soon, hopefully. So wait for the news from Georg and TBGS in the near future. And we like to thank and express our gratitude to the funding of Horizon 2020 and the European Commission European European Union that has been instrumental in, in, in moving this research forward.